Mr. Ryden, sir? Tell her you've arrived. Over here! <laughs> Hi there, stranger. Hey, you're looking good. Aw, who's your little friend? Oh, it's a long story. Shake? <laughs> Good boy! <laughs> uh, I guess we don't really have time to catch up. Sorry, not really. It's okay. Follow me. So exactly what kind of... You'll see. place gotta be it's the only base big enough with security contracted out to world marshal all right i'm headed in
You see that? Their exit codes show up as unaffiliated. Wait, Marshall has the security contract for this base. Why would they have their cyborg set to the same illegal exit code as Desperado? It's evidence against them. No, it's their alibi. They're making it look like Desperado hacked their soldiers on site because everyone knows Desperado has a contract with... The Pakistani rebels. Oh, but if we go public with the desperado Marshall connection... Won't matter. Not when they've got this nice big foreign threat all cooked up and ready to serve. The media and the public won't be able to resist. Remember WMDs in Iraq? Damn it, you're right. It's another slam dunk. What about any humans on the base? Marshall only handled security. Dead, most likely. Or brain jacked, if they needed them to keep up appearances. Huh. They'd never publicize what airport the president was flying into. Not in this region. And almost no one would have access to an outside line for security reasons. It wouldn't be difficult to keep things hush-hush. At least until Air Force One arrives. I'm heading for the control tower. If I can destroy the antenna array, the U.S. military will know something's wrong. Good idea. Be careful. Sam's gone. And I blew the winds of destruction away. I'll be fine. Brighton, there is no time to worry about the soldiers. Get to the control tower.
story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. But the president was saved. And yet American blood was spilled. By Americans. Besides, a few dozen soldiers is tragic, but nothing to start a major war over. That's just a spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us their great isms. Nationalism, unilateralism, materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith, without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value, the economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war, especially war. Bullshit. The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're all sons of our Patriots now! We just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> And the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? BMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. <sighs> of course, that would have to include you. Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message. 